there, of course, there aren't any birth control pills for men on the market. It's been one of the most asked questions in reproductive health. Why have most contraceptives been developed for people with uteruses? Pills, patches, shots, IUDs, the options are plentiful in pharmacies today. Yet these same options don't exist for people assigned male at birth. A team of researchers in the U.S. may be one step closer to developing a non-hormonal contraceptive for men seven years in the making. There are many different ways how you could interfere uh, with uh, sperm uh, production and sperm function. We're targeting a protein that's um, uh, essential for sperm uh, production. In years before, researchers around the world have explored both hormonal and non-hormonal birth control pills for people whose bodies produce sperm. The latest recently presented to the American Chemical Society, a non-hormonal male contraceptive that prevents pregnancy in mice. This compound is 99% effective in mice. They're planning to test it further in other animals and kind of see the safety before going to FDA to start the clinical trial. If the FDA gives a green light, the researchers say they're hoping to start the human clinical trials later this year, saying it's quite ambitious and could take 10 years for the pill to hit the market. But they are confident things can move faster. There's interest, resources and money being poured in. We have, first of all, this, these partners at Your Choice Therapeutics, and they are, you know, they don't have a 100 other projects. They're very dedicated to this project and they're really pushing very hard to get all the data done. There are men who want to participate. So that's another factor, I think, that makes it maybe go forward a little faster. If approved, the researchers are optimistic about its prospects. I think that there would definitely be a market for it. There's never one thing that works for everybody. So uh, the more options we have, the better. Um, There are a lot of men who would love to be able to participate in that. The Canadian Institute of Health Research tells City News there's currently no research underway on prescribed male contraceptives in this country, which begs the question, why? There may be less medical urgency for a man to use it because there's no health detriments immediately directly to the male. They should develop and put money into this and research into this. Um, Even though there are other contraceptive options, there are still a percentage of uh, people who are unable to use those options. When a new drug hits the market, researchers in the U.S. say that it takes years to see how effective it is in the real world. The same is anticipated should their male birth control pill reach that point. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.